Today we'll create a uniform temperature load across a structure. Our structure for the test comprises two bodies, one on top of another. On the bottom we have steel and on the top we have aluminum and each has a different coefficient of thermal expansion. Next we'll create our simulation files and a linear static solution. We'll begin in the FEM where we'll create our mesh mating conditions which will ensure bonding between the two bodies and a congruent mesh across them. Then we'll create our solid mesh Then we'll deactivate the solution and apply our constraints. First will be a fixed constraint and we're going to be applying these constraints to vertices. So our fixed translation constraint will go on the bottom left hand corner. Next we'll create some user defined constraints on two of the other corners. So here we'll fix it in Y and Z on the bottom right hand corner and just in Y on the top left hand corner. Next we'll create our uniform temperature load and this will be done by creating two temperature sets. Our first is an initial stress-free temperature which we set at 68 degrees and our second will be a temperature load which we'll set at our operating temperature. So now we're ready to solve. and the solution takes about a second to run and we can look at our results. Here you can see with the deflection results that our bimetallic structure is behaving exactly as we would expect. So that is how to apply a uniform temperature load to a structural analysis.